in this tutorial we want to draw this ring here using Inkscape 1.0 or Inkscape in general so we start by opening go and open go to object fill and stroke and open this dialog here because we'll be needing it for our colors we can also use colors from the color palette here now we go for our circle tool and go to control and then draw a circle something like this is okay we do a duplicate of the circle so go to the select tool and then go to edit duplicate now we have a duplicate of it let's give the duplicates a different color now let's reduce the size of the duplicate so go to control and then we move it in a bit I mean, it's, and then move the circle here and place it somewhere here it's not necessary let it be out a bit you know the red circle should come out a little bit not exactly like it's lying here but it should be down a bit okay let's go to shift select this and select this one here and then we go to path difference because we want the difference of this now we want we do a copy of this uh, what we have here so we rotate 180 degrees so you can also do a duplicate of this by uh, right clicking with your mouse and doing duplicates now we can give the duplicates a different color just for identification nothing big and then go here and rotate it uh, clockwise you can also rotate it counterclockwise but clockwise 180 so we press this twice one two to be like this you see it went in nicely so it looks more or less like a, a ring already now the next thing we would need to do is to draw another circle but the circle we'll be drawing should be a bit bigger than what we drew here so go to our circle tool and then we draw a circle go to control so that you have a, a perfect circle should be a bit bigger because we want to cut something and place um, somewhere here or there oh, okay in this position to make it easier for you to understand maybe i rotate the what we have drawn so that it looks similar to what um, i have here but it's the same thing i could have just select yours and then give it a rotation let's flip it so that um we flip it this way and then maybe we move it a bit so that it looks exactly like what we have so you you, you, you i flipped it vertically and then let's rotate it a bit go to shift control so that you don't distort anything yes i think this way so that uh, this i did it has no purpose just for you to see what we are doing because we are using this and we are working on this okay now we want to draw something uh, something here so that we can get these shades here so um we we have this already just click it and do a duplicate so right click duplicate and then go to shift control and make a different circle a smaller one and then give it a different color so you can see what's the, the smaller circle we are going to take some in um, intersection or cut a piece um we, we we are going to use this to cut the piece on the smaller one so it's better to move this up you can move this up by going to here raise selection to top you can press that or if it's quicker for you you go you can also use your keyboard you can use the page up and then go up but this suffices now come and place it somewhere here we just need a piece 
of the right uh, of the circle just to create some kind of something like a shadow so select this with this is already selected the bigger one and then go to shift and select the smaller one and then we go to path and then we go to difference so we have this we bring and put this somewhere here it's not really important where you place it you can rotate it as well for it to fit a bit i rotate mine a bit you can rotate by you see this this is for making it and then if you press again you get this rounded thing and then you can use it to rotate a bit if you can. now we we want to do we take what we cut here and then do a duplicate we do just do a duplicate another way to do duplicates left mouse click and then space bar that also gives a duplicate now our duplicates let's give it a different color let's give it the color white and then make it small so go to control and shift and then move it in a bit like this and then you can move this somewhere here behind more or less like this i think this is sufficient now the next thing we want to do is to put some gradients in what we've drawn here so what i will do is that i would make it a bit bigger for us to see let me first select everything i go here i want to select everything here and then move it a bit here and then we make it a bit bigger for you to see um we go here and just make it a bit bigger now we need our what we are looking at to design so we have this here the first thing we want to do is to put gradients down here so we go we select first this one we go for our selection tool and select it and then maybe we give it already um this color first choose this color for it and then we will try to we, let's give it a radial gradient now pre go for the gradient edit gradient tool this one here press it and then the gradient is here we want to move it a bit here so you see this line here there's a small hole that try to get it and then move it here more or less somewhere here is good and then we, we want to also change move the lines a bit to towards here so try to reach um the grid the that's zero here and turn this a bit here now we make it a bit longer maybe somewhere here first we'll see and then we want to uh, put the next color we i want to put i want to put some colors in here so the first color i chose was the, the next color i chose was yellow so go on and select this a gradient point this zero point says yes, put this in here to select it press it twice and then go here and insert new stop because we need this top here we want to put a, a different color and give that stop the color yellow okay and then the next thing we will do is we find another stop so we come and select what we had the stop there double click it and come to insert another stop and that stop let's give it orange yeah i think we are coming we we would need to pull this a bit uh, afterwards we will we'll consider it because we, we want this place to be longer and this goes so and the last stop here we gave it blue again so go for retouch it double click it and give it this blue again now we can um i would prefer that we move it this way let's see here let's move it a bit go and touch the gradients this thing and move it 
to this point a bit and this as well touch this and then move it a bit okay so we have those shades in there the yellow i'm not sure whether the yellow the, it looks like this yellow is more here than there so maybe we can move it down a bit touch go and touch the gradient there you can move it if you want so that it's somewhere here i think we are good you can manipulate it and also let it be how you think you want the gradients should be because you you can manipulate these dots here now we go and to the next um go for your select tool and then select this one here this i, I gave it red so just give it red the red color so let's come here and then we give it red and this one here i gave it white and this white so we select this but if we the moment i select that this white will go so maybe i do this one first we give it the gradients um radial gradients and then the yellow we select as well and give it radial gradient the yellow I should have given it white first because look it, it in our case the yellow makes it not look whitish like this one here so I would want to change the, that yellow here because it's making it look a bit weird I had forgotten I want to change it to white first before I give it the um, the gradient or we can just give it choose this let uh, okay i hope i selected the color ah, i selected the wrong one look with, with the yellow one you can give it the same white uh, gradient here because we've created this was white color so we could have we can just choose it again for the the yellow one because we want all to be white now we've produced the ring we want you can just go on and select it and go to object and group it thank you for watching please help me by subscribing to my channel thank you bye